Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another Elder E Monk Reactions. My name is Eric, and today we're going to be checking out a brand new song from Alkaline Trio. And let me tell you, this has been our year for all those Elder E most those punk kids at heart. This has been a fantastic year. Blink-182, back and better than ever. Yellow Card, back from the dead. We have Sum 41 releasing songs like they could be from All Killer, No Filler. We have When We Were Young with Green Day, Blink, Good Charlotte, Sum 41. You, know, you name them, they're there. Like this has been our year. I think Green Day is about to release a new song. I think after this weekend, Neck Deep releasing some amazing, like it's just, it's everywhere. It's coming and I love it. But now we're going to focus on Alkaline Trio. They're here with a brand new song, Blood, Hair, and Eyeballs. And if I'm not mistaken, I think their drummer left maybe not too long ago. So I think they have a new drummer here. So we'll definitely go ahead and check this out. But let's see. Let's see what Alkaline Trio brings. Do they give us those nostalgic feels? Because if they do, I'm here for it. Let's check it out. at the skate park, obviously. Feels it. That's a chorus. Is there anything that's like screams 2000s punk then a music video taking place like either in an empty swimming pool or a skate park and people skating around them? value there. A bunch of elder emo zombies is what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, not the foot. <laughs> oh shit. Chorus. Come on, man, fight him off. <laughs> the guitar cable. All that's left is for them to do the thriller. <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> Is all a dream. Or was it? Fuck. <laughs> all right, everyone. So that was Alkaline Trio with their song, Blood, Hair, and Eyeballs. Let's talk about it. This is what I'm talking about. Like, the bands right now, they just get it. They just know what kind of music we're looking for. And I don't know if it vibes with everyone, but it 100% vibes with me. I loved 
this song. This was so much fun and something I know is gonna be in rotation in my playlist, along with all of the other pop punk bangers that we're getting this year. Um, outside of that, not just a great chorus, Oh, which I thought was really catchy and it was fun to listen to. I think it's also going to be fun to sing along to in the car. Um, I really like this video. This was such a fun video because it gave you kind of like that, you know, what you would expect from, from a, you know, kind of a punk song coming back with the whole skate park and everything, the cookout with all the punks around and all that going on, which is a lot of fun. But then the zombie take with it and the production was actually pretty good with that, with um, the zombies looking like really good. You got the drummer at one point that was just kind of like hitting the drums. Um, when I saw the one like skeleton just kind of walking all sideways, it gave me super thriller like michael jackson thriller vibes that's why i called out like i you know it'd be funny if they did the dance and then like literally they just go ahead and do it like they get it they get it i'm sure i wasn't the only one who thought that in that moment and they delivered jump scare at the end a lot of fun um this was just a great video alkaline trio one of those bands that i feel is like very very underrated Obviously, Matt Skiba did his, you know, kind of his stretch with Blink-182, and they released some fantastic songs. I still think that, like, him and Mark sound a little bit too much alike, and you, you kind of miss that kind of Blink feel from it. Um, but Alkaline Trio has been one of those staples just in the genre since forever um and i don't think they get necessarily all the respect that they deserve this was a great song i love it go give them a whole lot of love let me know what you guys thought about alkaline trio and um yeah i'll see you next time